Hello, in today's Archeo Scoop we're having something of a catch-up as this has been a rather busy Easter weekend here at Archeo Soup Towers. So today's top three headlines are as follows. Headline number one comes from the Australian Centre for Ancient DNA in the University of Adelaide where an international team of researchers have found that, uh, well, people in the Mesolithic with a largely meat-dominated grain-free diet had far healthier mouths than we have Today, uh, the team studied the remains of 34 individuals from Northern Europe, uh, prehistoric individuals, and compared them to people from the Neolithic, so when farming turned up, people in the medieval period, and also modern people, and came to the conclusion that uh, not only were their mouths healthier, but also there were two distinct uh, moments when bacteria changed in the human mouth. The first one was when farming was introduced and the second one around 150 years ago with the Industrial Revolution or during the Industrial Revolution. Um, essentially we now have far more harmful cavity causing bacteria in our mouths than we've ever had uh, before. This is due to um, uh, car refined carbohydrates and sugars um, and the nature of our food uh, which, which just encourages these bacteria to thrive in our mouths. So it's a fascinating study and again um, sort of possibly contrary to what many people would assume we're not necessarily all getting healthier. Anyway that's headline number one. Headline number two, actually, uh, is quite interesting. It's linked with wrestling. Now, we all know that um, the American wrestling, the WWE, um, for example, is essentially it's fixed. So the outcome of matches are, are scripted. It's more like a soap opera than actual sport. Hence, I suppose, sports entertainment, as they, as they label themselves. But it seems that this is nothing new. Um, uh, an ancient document, uh, written in ancient Greek, as you might expect, um, actually from Egypt, has... Uh, been found which records a contract to fix the outcome of a wrestling match. Dating to around AD 267 is a contract between two teenagers uh, who had reached a final match in a sort of a wrestling uh, competition, well rather sorry, a games competition in Egypt. And this is the first record of um, athletes uh, agreeing to fix the outcome of a contest that we have from the ancient world. So, you know, wrestling may well be, um, be, be all sorted before the bell even, even rings for the first round, but um, it seems that uh, this is nothing new. That's headline number two. Headline number three actually comes from Cairo, where an Egyptian-German team uh, have been working to uh, restore and prepare for display a whole host of artefacts from Tutankhamun's tomb. Um, gold leaf uh, decorations showing hunting scenes, for example, uh, a dog and a griffin attacking an ibex um, uh, is one of the examples which is mentioned here, um, are going to go on, to, on display for the first time ever, really. I mean, uh, when they were discovered in 1922, they were considered to be in just such bad condition that, um, that they weren't really ever sub uh, subjected to serious study. So not only will, will this, uh, this, this feat of restoration and conservation um, uh, mean that people can, can see these things in the Cairo Museum, but also mean that actually we can, we can start to study them as well. So um, almost a hundred years later, Tutankhamun's tomb is still relinquishing um, some fascinating secrets, as it were. Uh, also, as well, on a side note, this could, this could, and hopefully will mark um, an ongoing trend between Germany and Egypt in uh, in a collaboration when it comes to uh, Egyptology. Um, uh, I, I know they do work closely together. I mean, this this story proves that. But uh, the tensions, for example, surrounding the bust of Nefertiti, um, uh, may be eased with continuing work like this, showing that um, that that we can work that well, they can work together. For, uh, for the betterment of Egyptology. Um, nonetheless, that's headline number three. For those three stories and for all the other stories in the past few days, all you need to do is check, as ever, the video information. All the, the headlines are laid out for you to, uh, to read at your leisure. Uh, in addition to my top three stories today, I also quite like the story of a mystery um, art, metal artefact found in a Neolithic tomb in Anglesey, North Wales. So check that one out as well. Anyway, uh, hopefully you've had a wonderful Easter weekend, and until next time, as ever, take care. Bye-bye.